Okay, let's discuss muscle tissues and nerve tissues. The first one you're gonna see here is the smooth muscle. In smooth muscle, most of the time, smooth muscle is slightly out of focus. It looks a little fuzzy. So for our lab, this would be an awesome uh, representation of what you would see on the practical. This one down here, not so much. Ours are usually straight, but you can see how it's kind of blurry. You can't see one muscle fiber from the other one. It's really blurry. So that clues you in that this is smooth muscle tissue. So the big tissue category here would be muscle tissue and the specific tissue would be smooth muscle. The only thing you have to identify here are these black structures. Those black structures are gonna be nuclei or a nucleus. The next one here is gonna be cardiac muscle tissue. Cardiac muscle tissue is smaller, thinner fibers that are branched. So you can see this fiber goes here and then it branches up here and it branches down here. So um, you'll see branching fibers with cardiac muscle tissue. You can also see, I'm gonna blow this up so you can see the tiger striping. See the tiger striping here? The dark band, light band, dark band, light band. That tiger striping is called striations. And then you have these super dark lines right here and here. Those dark lines are called intercalated discs. An intercalated disc is a joining point similar to a zipper that is going to zipper two cardiac muscle cells together. And then you have these round structures here or these dark structures and over here, those dark structures are gonna be the nuclei. So again, this, um, Tissue here is branched, smaller, thinner fibers. So branching smaller, thinner fibers that have these stripings are called cardiac muscle tissue. This tiger striping or banded effect is called your striations. And this dark line structure here is called the intercalated disc. These roundish structures here and here, those are gonna be your nuclei. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. So here you see four different pictures here of the cardiac muscle tissue. So the big tissue category for this would be muscle tissue and the specific tissue would be cardiac muscle. Now the next tissue we have, you'll see really, really thick, bold fibers and you see a much darker tiger striping or banded look. This immediately tells you that this is gonna be skeletal muscle. Again, skeletal muscle, you're looking for those really large, thick fibers that have darker tiger striping or striations to it. So in here, these striations again, or sorry, these tiger stripings are called striations. And then the dark dots are gonna be your nuclei. So again, the striations are here. So the structure here is striations. Those are the tiger stripes. And then the dark structures here are your nuclei. The big tissue category for this is gonna be muscle tissue. And the specific tissue is gonna be skeletal muscle. And that finishes up muscle tissues. There are only three. Now let's move on to our nerve tissue. I'm gonna blow this up a little bit so we can get a better view. Okay, here we have our first one in the nerve tissue. This one is the neuron. The neuron looks like kites or squids, depending on who you are. Uh, find again uh, what it will make sense to you when you're taking the practical. So if these look like little kites to you, then use that description. If they look more like squids to you, then use that description to clue you in that this is gonna be a neuron. So neuron is a specific tissue and big tissue category is gonna be nerve tissue. There are a few structures here that you have to be able to identify. This long tail here, that comes off in one direction, that is gonna be your axon. And then each one of these little appendages coming off, kind of in the same direction, 
These are going to be your dendrites. Don't real write too well with this. So that's your dendrite. And here you will see your nucleus. Okay. So again, the long tail going off kind of in its own direction is the axon. And then these little appendages are the dendrites. Okay. Let me erase that. Okay. Now let's go to the last one for nerve tissue. That is going to be our neuroglia. Neuroglia are going to look like very dark black to dark purple fireworks or starbursts. So you see these star, starburst uh, images right here. Each one of those is neuroglia. There is nothing you have to label in neuroglia. So you'll see this picture here where there's some labels. You do not have to label anything for this tissue. So the big tissue category for this would be nerve tissue. The specific tissue would be neuroglia. And that gets all of your muscle and nerve tissues.